Hey Flosstube, Ashley here, Boogie Stitcher on YouTube, Shleesum underscore Boogie Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with another Flosstube update. We have a finish, we're talking about mania plans, so let's go ahead and just dive right in. First things first, I want to show you guys my finish, which I'm super excited about. Um, first one of the year. <laughs> so here is the pattern. Um, and I only stitch the hummingbird. I do love all of the flowers um, and plants in the background, but unfortunately I purchased this just for the hummingbird. So what I decided to do is I'm going to save the pattern, the printed pattern for this part right here, and I'm gonna do it as I counted later on. Not right now, but later. Um, but I finished the hummingbird, and this project was for my um, dad and my stepmom. Um, in memoration, <laughs> in ode to my grandma. There we go. Jeez Louise. So here is the finish. And I think it turned out super good. As you can see, I, there's no way to salvage the stamping of all of the plants as it's too close to the beak of the, is that? The mouth of the hummingbird. So uh, yeah, it's too close. So I'm just going to wash it like this and frame it as is. And then, like I said, I'll just have to use this, um, the printed pattern and use it to do the counted. But yeah, there's my hummingbird. Yay! I don't get very many finishes these days because everything I do is like really big full coverages. So it's super exciting to get like a really tiny finish in between the chaos of everything else. So there's that. Next up we have in this house and I kind of stalled a little bit on doing um, the Hufflepuff name and the Slytherin name. Um, I need to pick out the colors for them but this is where I'm at. So I did as loyal as and this is supposed to be Hufflepuff um, which is black and like a type of yellow so I have to pick out the yellow and then I did as cunning as and I need to do the Slytherin so the whole thing is here. Of course you have the window behind me, but there it is. I need to get like a board to like pin these on for everyone to see, I think. That's okay. But there's that one. And next up we have a new start to you guys actually. Um, I posted this on Instagram, but I started this pattern with the wonderful Abby. I'll go ahead and link her Instagram up here and I'll post the picture of this pattern right here. Super excited about this one. It's super cute and I love the shop. Um, so here's where we got so far. You should have seen this without the back stitching though. It's crazy how much back stitching really like helps things. And then here's the start of the dragon's face right here. So pretty good start. And it's always funner to stitch something when you're stitching it with someone else. So <laughs> I also um, kitted this up on the one of the floss cards that I unboxed. I think this is the Moana one. So it worked out pretty good. Wind it up and put it away so I don't have chaos after this video. <laughs> there we go. And I just kept this, I have this in like a little binder pouch that I got from my local dollar store. It's got like a little organizer pouch in the front if I wanted to put like a picture of the pattern. Um, and then it's yeah, it's just, it's kind of loud, like crinkly sounding, but it works really good. All right, next up we have a new star slash, you know, this was a new unboxing that I recently did. <clears throat> this is the window paned um, princesses. And of course, one of my favorites is Cinderella, so I started with Cinderella's face. And I just wanted to do one of the faces to see if I would get the detail that I wanted because this is a really big pattern. Um, this one is a 90 by 62. So I just did her face to see, well, most of her face to see if it is what I wanted it to be. So, and it is. So there's Cinderella's face. No, honey, keep it off, please. Uh, there's her face turned out super good and her hair is looking really good too so I am going to continue with this pattern so I do have this as a counted um, 
but I much prefer stamped these days. It's a lot easier to stitch on. I don't have to concentrate quite as much and I don't have to count anything, which is really nice when you have kids running around. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna transfer to this pattern instead of the counted one. Um, it's, it's turning out really good, so I, I like it. <clears throat> Put everything away. All right, next up we have Gamer. And this one's turning out really good. So um, when I first started Gamer, I started as a full cross um, and then I converted it to 10 stitch. So I'm gonna show you the whole thing, show you what I stitched on this time, and then I'll show you the spot that has the full cross and the 10 stitch. So I did her face. <laughs> I filled it a little bit more of this like ribbon right here and then I did her face because I wanted to see what she looked like and it's looking great. I am so excited about this one. It is insane. Um, the stamping is showing up super good. I can look at it close up and it doesn't look like an alien. So that's cool. <laughs> um, so we had already done our little hedgehog, Harry the Hedgehog. Um, and then we got the face and this. So this in this ribbon is where I have full cross and 10 stitch. So this is super close up. You could see a little bit close up that there's full cross and 10 stitch in there. But when you pull it back this far, you can't tell at all, which is what I love. Um, so I've been converting most of my stamped kits to 10 stitch because it's so much faster. I'm so much more happy. I'm happier with it. It's just, it's just so much better. So, so this is it. Stay over there, please. <clears throat> and I didn't really show, I guess I need to show the pattern first. So this is gamer. And I'm a gamer at heart. I used to game a lot. <laughs> Not so much anymore, but I'll get back there one day, I'm sure. Okay, next up we have Ravenclaw. And I don't know if I have the pattern, I think I lost the pattern picture for this one. <laughs> but, I've done, oh, losing a needle minder. Hold on. Stop, chaos, okay, chaos reverted, okay. So here is Ravenclaw. So what I've worked on and I, is I've done all of this right here since the last time we spoke. So I've done all of the, the bookshelf right here, or at least most of it, and it's looking really good. Um, I haven't decided if I want to backstitch it around it or not, around all the individual books to make them pop out. Um, they're, they're doing a pretty good job popping out right now, um, but we'll see. I'll, I'll decide when I get all of it done, um, but to see, Kind of all of it. I don't want to take the hoop out because I'm going to be working on this soon, but there it is. It's, it's looking really good. I'm super, I'm super happy with this one so far. So we have the statue right here in the middle, um, the bookshelf, and then like half of the top maybe. So it's, it's looking really, I really love all of these houses. Super excited about this one. Of course, you'll hear me say that about every single one that I'm stitching because I, I'm excited about all of them. Bring on all the cross stitch. Um, is that it? No, okay, last two. So the last two I'm gonna show you, um, I guess let's talk about Mania plans before I show you the next two products. So my Mania plans, I decided to do Mania. Um, Mania is where you stitch all of May with a certain goal or a certain uh, idea that you wanna do. The last time I participated in Stitch Mania, I decided to work on old projects during the week and work on whatever, or and then I have a new start on the weekends. Well, I start things all the time. So I didn't really wanna do that again because it's not really, you know, I do it all the time. So what I'm gonna do, this mania, which we just finished the first week of mania, is I'm going to stitch during the week two projects that I am stitching with other people, either in a cell or specifically with one or two people. Um, I'm gonna stitch on those during the week and then on the weekends, um, I can stitch on whatever I want. And if I do that all of May, I'm gonna reward myself with a new pattern, hopefully. So, um, and then the new pattern I have in mind is the new Snow White by Bella Fina. Um, Bella Filipina. I don't know the specific pattern name, but it's Snow White. We all know it's Snow White and she's beautiful. So um, that being said, um, the first week I worked on Bellatrix 
and a new star Hufflepuff. So, let's see. So Bellatrix is this one right here by Bella Filipina. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert the start before uh, I started uh, Stitching Mania right here. And I'm stitching this one with Abby and Emma. So that was where I started and this is where I ended up. So we did all of her hair and filled in some of this um, beading of her dress right here. Or not beading, um, crinic of her dress. So this is where I got to. Now I, I love the Bella Filipinas, the, the pretty ladies, the fancy ladies, whatever you want to call them. Um, I love them all. Um, it is harder for me to work on though just because it's counted, it's a printed pattern, it's just a little bit harder for me to pay attention to. I'm stitching over two, stitching over one on skin, so I can only take this in small doses. I do about 50 to 100 stitches per sitting. But you know what, they're supposed to be treasured and like enjoyed while being worked on, so I don't mind that it's taking, it's gonna take me a while to finish, because um, here's the whole thing. And she's gonna be beautiful. So here's her nose, the framing of her nose and face and eye. And I'm just gonna work around um, to do part of her hair up here. And then I think I'm gonna uh, change into the arch, I think is what I'm gonna do. So, so I'm gonna work up to right here, which I'm almost there. And then I'm gonna do some of the arch just to get out of the black, the black hair. It's a little crazy sometimes. So there's week one's progress of that one. <clears throat> Next up is a new start um, that I am stitching with Rena. Um, I don't believe she has a YouTube, but she has an Instagram, so I'll go ahead and link her Instagram up here for you. Um, she is working on Slytherin, which is work looking fabulous. She stitches it with two strands instead of three strands, which I found shocking because it looks so good. And so I might try next time I do a full coverage or a full cross stamped kit I might try with two strands because it looks really good um, but we decided to start this together um, and it's Hufflepuff now I said I wasn't gonna start any other of these dorm rooms but you know when you're stitching it with someone else it's for a good cause right so this is what we decided on and I am stitching this tent stitch because that's my new jam and here's where we got in the in the first week of mania so I found it really weird that the, the badger has like a bunch of green in it, but when you hold it back, you can't really tell. <laughs> I know Rena when she did hers, it's, um, she changed the green to be like a, a darker, very significantly darker green, so that way it's not so like, bam! Um, and hers looks really good. But I'm just gonna keep it with the pattern for now, and then I might change it later. And so this is my two week, or my first week, new star. See, I can get so much more progress done on a stamp kit than I can with Counted because it's just so much easier. T takes less brain power. <clears throat> so that is it for um, my stitching update for the first week of Mania, for my Mania plans. Um, next up for this next week, so we're in the weekend right now, I can stitch whatever I feel like stitching on. And then the second week, I am going to be stitching on Coffee Quaker. Um, I'll insert the picture of it right here. And then I'm also gonna be stitching on my um, Castle Snow Globe that I'm stitching with um, the Thread Maiden. I'll in insert her um, Instagram name right here. Um, so I'm stitching that with her. And then the Coffee Quaker, I'm stitching with Abby and I'll insert her Instagram right here. And if I don't insert all the names up here, then they will be in the description box down below. It depends on how much editing I wanna do later. So they're either up here or they're down there. <laughs> um, but I'll be stitching those um, uh, for the second week of Mania. And then after that week, we'll decide what we're stitching on next. Um, but I'll come on here and record a video and show you guys the progress for the second week of Mania. And we'll just do kind of like a weekly video of my progress so you all can stay up on it. And then if you follow me on Instagram, um, I'll be posting the, the progress, the, the start and the finish results on Instagram as well. So thank you all for, so much for joining me. I really appreciate every single one of you. I hope you all stay safe, stay warm, and take care. Bye.